What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to Gunners Collective TV. You already know what it is, man. Back at it. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Like a mother. Like a mother. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I said the triple up. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a motherfucking smack addict. Bye, y'all. Uh, bye. <laughs> in a minute, it's not a direct fashion. We're going to get straight into the third piece of content I've dropped today. I'm putting in that work, man. This is something I felt I should, you know... Uh, uh, speak on, you know, I, I don't know, I guess I could put some stock into this. I've spoke on the situation and, and the situation has took a different turn. No more buddy buddies, right? But before we get into the situation at hand and the content of the day, hit that like and subscribe button, put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate it, man. We're going up. So, um, wow. What a difference a couple weeks make, right? Um, and I'm going to talk about two different angles, two different perspectives. You know, when you get incarcerated, everybody forgets about you. Facts. Your lady might hold on like in vogue for just a minute. You know, she might stick with you through a little bit of thick, just a little bit of thin, but eventually the thin gets to her. You know, if you're not able to provide what she needs, her necessities, her needs out of sight, out of mind. It's time to move on to the vecino. For those of you that don't know Spanish, the neighbor, right? Um, family members disappear on you. Friends decide that if for no other reason, anything you've ever did bad in your life, homes, uh, comes to light. And just a lot of people fall backwards, right? Now, I've noticed that while being incarcerated, you'll make a lot more uh, friendships and relationships with people you didn't necessarily know before you got incarcerated. So the game of people getting locked up and people falling off or falling back or stepping back for the time being is normal. This happened since the beginning of time, man. There's not a guy that's locked up right now that hasn't had somebody fall off on him because pretty much they figure you fell off on them. All of a sudden, when you were out there selling drogas and making all that money and everybody was, you know, clowning and, and cruising in your car, and you were taking everybody to the casinos and everybody was having it their way and and, and, and you guys were wiggling. You were looking out for the whole crew, the whole hood, the whole body, right? Oh, man, you were that man. But then all of a sudden, when you get locked up and you can't buy her them rings no more or take her to uh, Burger King to get a double whopper or you can't take the homeboys to the taco truck to get them 16 tacos, right? Now, all of a sudden, he knew what he was getting himself into. He fucked up. I tried to help him out, homie, but he never, you know, all of a sudden, everybody else is trying to be the hero when at the end of the day, all you get is zero. Well, that seems like the situation Crip Mac is in. A lot of people have fell back. Now that he's not uh, expendable, now that he's not there to line their pockets with Feria, now that Crip Mac is not there anymore to be the scapegoat or be the one to do the shenanigans and the stupid shit, to basically be the class clown, well, no, we can't do nothing for you, man. It's like a kid in play movie, right? He can't do nothing for him. Nobody can. Okay, but one guy was trying to stick through the thick and thin, man. And that was China Mac. One guy who's been through the ringer. I put him through it for a second. A lot of different people spoke on the situation. A lot of people voiced their opinion. A lot of us in the community of YouTube thought that China Mac was utilizing Crip Mac. Okay, he quickly dispelled those thoughts with me and I gained a whole level of respect for that guy because I truly seen just by looking into the eyes of that man that he was dedicated to a friendship beyond the bank. He was dedicated to a friendship beyond the bag, right? Now, hey, if you could win in the meantime, in between time, why not? That's the true knowledge you can't get in college. If you can line your pockets on me and you guys could both come up, why not? But... Best believe it doesn't come without work and it doesn't come without a whole bunch of motherfuckers all up in your business, right? And of course, you had people like 600 and people like Adam 16 and a lot of other guys, whack 100 on Paru, that like to voice their opinions because if they ain't got their hands in the cookie jar and, and, and everyone's got their hands in, everyone's trying to get the snickerdoodle, right? But China Mac, his shit was deep inside. He had that, right? He had the golden goose, the golden ticket. He had Crip Mac in the palm of his hands, but not in the palm of his hands on some bullshit, but these vatos were literally buddy buddies, hand in hand, they were friends, or at least that's the way China Mac thought it was, right? Um, today, China Mac uh, uh, put out a, a, a long, 
I guess he expressed his feelings on Instagram and basically decided that if for no other reason he was going to step back, fall back. I seen this one coming, man. I called it the other day. He was going to fall back from Cripmac. You know, I could see the integrity in what he's doing. I can see the reasonings behind it. There might be some more shit in the cuts behind that, you know, they're not exactly exposing. But um, he pretty much laid it out what exactly and the reasonings why he's stepping away from Crip Mac and their association. Basically, their friendship. He's telling a man, good luck, God bless, and, and, and buzz lightning speed. And it's not because he got locked up so he's falling off. Because if you recall, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was, when Crip Mac did get incarcerated by the feds, China Mac was there on the doorstep, politicking. That Valtham was doing everything that he could to try to help this man get out. Because only, not only did he understand that this, Mac, this man, you know, suffers with schizophrenia that, you know, I could say that now because China Mac put it out there. Um, but also that, you know, he was in need of true friendship, true leadership, someone that could guide him and help him like he had been doing. Um, a real friend. You know, um, Crip Mac decided to go on the phone. And I think this was more manipulation from other people, from the outside. You know, because you got to understand, he has no action at, 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 at certain things right now. He has no access at his channel. Other people are running his channel for him, right? So this man, um, straight up, real facts, right? Um, heard something through the grapevine and decided to get at you know, the hint, instead of pulling China Mac to the side, giving him a phone call and, and like a real friend does, you know, and we got to understand, you got to bear with Crip Mac. He's different, right? He's a little different. You know what you're getting into when you're getting into that car with him, you know, he'll pull up with a flat tire. You always got to go air it up. He's one of them guys, right? Um, definitely, you know, I tell, hey, I, Crip Mac, I think it's time for an oil change, right? This guy uh, didn't go in on China Mac, but he basically kind of severed or overstepped the line of their friendship, right? When you have a friend, you ride with them thick or thin, right or wrong, almost to the motherfucking wheels fall off, unless they're on some SPM shit or Adam shit. Then that's a different story. You have to reanalyze the situation. But if you have a homeboy, man, um, that maybe, you know, he's out there trying to put it down for you guys and he's doing a little too much and you feel, hey, he's coming out of his character or you feel you know, a certain way about a certain way, then you pull him to the side and you get in his earlobe. That's what real G's do. That's what real ones do. That's what real Caribs do. They'll pull you to the side and let you know raw diggity exactly what it is. Like, hey, bro, I ain't feeling that. You're the homie, so I'm just letting you know. Heads up to your fed up. Now, that's hard. Now, for, as far as everyone else goes, we don't need them all in our business. Homie, so let's keep it professional and keep this motherfucking boat rolling. That's it. And the homeboy will appreciate and respect that because at least you were mad enough to pull him to the side and do it on some G shit. But when you put it out there for the whole world to see publicly, that's going to make China Mac feel some type of way. So, okay, Crip Mac puts out, you know, hey, don't act like a tough guy. Don't be no tough guy. Basically testing the abilities of the friendship and saying that his homie is not tough. Like, you ain't that, homie. You're not that one. Yeah, that part. You're not that one, China Mac, is what Crip Mac basically was saying. Like, come on, buddy, buddy. You know, mama bear. We know you're not him. Or he thought he wasn't him. And China Mac thinks differently of himself. I'm sure he thinks highly of himself. Most of us do think highly of ourselves. You know, we hate to think that we're some sucker fish or that we're in any capacity negative, right? So um, that hurt his, hurt his esteem, his self-esteem, his feelings or whatever. And so he decides that if for no other reason um, to get at him on the phone, his homeboy, and let him know, express a feeling. You know, he expressed, express yourself like an NWA song. He let him do it, do He did it. He did what he did. Um, little did he know that, you know, this was going to be this conversation between them where China Mac almost shed a tear where he was so befuddled and, 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 and so in shock of, you know, the, the, the lines of the friendship being crossed. If he was so in shock of one homeboy not treating this friendship like he thought he did, um, basically he was upset that Crip Mac, you know, uh, would come at him like that publicly. They dropped the video of him doing it publicly. What motherfuckers will do for views? This is, again, I've said it time and time again. I can't be a hypocrite. I went low down dirty to get some views sometimes. That's that's part of the game, right? Um, but I'll be a real one and say, not everything has to be posted on the internet. Not your whole fucking life. When you get up and your dick's only that big, you know, bad dick days. You know, when you get up, you're like, God damn, the struggle was real around this camp. You're trying to slap that motherfucker to get it big. 
You don't want that scene on camera. There's motherfuckers right now that are fucking, let's film that, right? Let's put that on YouTube. Maybe we'll go viral. Your whole life, you know, what you ate for breakfast, what you're going to eat later on doesn't have to be on YouTube. Yeah, you could do your little food thing like I do, but you don't have to necessarily give them the fucking up to date every little step you take. You will. This ain't a Bobby Brown song, Humps. Okay, it's your prerogative. Do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, understand that everyone is going to have an opinion. You open yourself to opinions. That's what happens when you're public with it. So China Mac is feeling some type of way. So he has decided today that if for no other reason, he's going to fall back, man. He appreciates the friendship. He appreciates Crip Mac opening his home and letting him be a part of what they had, which were buddy buddies, right? Which were friends. But regretfully, he's going to have to step away from them. He has decided his integrity, his morals, his values, and what he views as a true friendship in his eyes. Um, this wasn't that. And so he didn't disrespect Crip Mac. Respects for that. He didn't try to expose him. He's not saying, well, this is what we did in the cuts. And did I ever tell you guys that, you know, Crip Mac fucking uh, doesn't wipe his ass? Or he didn't say, did I ever tell you that fucking Crip Mac eats booty? He didn't do none of that. You know what I mean? What he said is respects. I wish you the best. I only wanted the best for you. You know, basically, man, getting that bag together was a great thing. We had a lot going on, you know, and there's a lot of people that are saying, well, it's you're only leaving China Mac because he got locked up. How convenient. Hey, I've been through the situations of homies turning their back on you. Couldn't put the Mac on you. Did the only thing that they could do and turn their back on you. I've been in that situation before locked up, you know, and I've also been in situations where homeboys you know, for themselves and for the greater good and for what's positive and good in their life had to step away from me. You know, just recently, man, I had to step away from a lot of individuals and a lot of individuals stepped away from me for whatever reasons. You know, I'll tell you mine's, they'll tell you theirs. At the end of the day, we're best off solo bolo. We're better as human beings, as people doing our own thing because you could only be responsible for yourself. I believe China Mac has made the right decision. Now, I believe a whole bunch of fucking vultures, ro rats, roaches, and shiesty approaches are going to come towards Crip Mac's way. Thank God the Vato's incarcerated where he doesn't have to worry about the next motherfucker trying to fill his culo. Or does he? One never does. No one. But, uh, or is that how you say it? One never knows does one. Not no one. Anyways, it's getting late. I haven't ate yet. I got diabetes. My sugar's low. So, you know, in, at the end of the day, I wanted to say, you know, with all this shit, China Mac uh, uh, stepping back, I seen it coming, man. I seen the heartache in that man's eyes. The moment he, the, the way he was, he was disappointed. He said, I can't even talk to you, bro. How can you do me like this? The moment I seen that, I knew because I've seen it before. Um, it's not the look of betrayal more so than it is the look of disappointment. When someone betrays you, you know in the game, when you're living that street life, that hood life, that gang life, that whatever the fucking life you're living, you know betrayal comes with that treachery, betrayal, lies, deceit, uh, illusion, all that comes um, with the game. That's part of the game. You do it yourself. But disappointment in someone that you truly thought was your friend, now that's a hard pill to swallow, man. And that's something that I'm sure these last few days, this week, China Mac has had to, and he has decided that his integrity and his pride comes before the bullshit. Instead of being constantly caught up in the drama on YouTube with what's going on with Crip Mac, with people dragging his name through the mud, with people talking shit, with Adam over here fucking uh, all mad because, you know, he, he told the truth. Um, he had to step away. I commend him for that, bro. I respect that. Did I lose respect for Crip Mac? Absolutely not. Again, Crip Mac is not all there. Not like the rest of us, or even some of us. Sometimes I'm not all there, right? So um, I don't blame Crip Mac. When a whole bunch of people are fucking telling him something and all up in his ear, what do you expect that man to do? That man um, needs guidance. You know, his cry for help is out there, and he doesn't even know he's doing it. China Mac was there, was truly a real friend, a solid individual to the end, and did what is best for him to get away and avoid the drama. Real G's do that. They don't want to be a part of the bullshit. They're like, come on, bro. We're getting too old for this shit. The comadres and the people that are constantly fucking running their neck and running around. And, you know what I mean? They're going to get tired of it too, homes. You're going to get older before you get colder. That's just what it is. 
Eventually, the shit will play itself out. Eventually, people get tired of the drama and the bullshit, and they turn on you, and they start saying, damn, bro, stop already, my also. That's just how it is. And other guys who have realized what time it is will step back and continue their, their push. You know, you only have so much energy, and you have to put it in the fucking direction that's going to best help yourself and assist yourself. Anyway, so China Mac decided to step back. He put it out there in a message. Um, I read it, reread it, and read it again. And I could say positively, hinted that I believe it's the right move. But Gunner, why are you involving yourself? Because I want to. Because I have a YouTube platform. Because I can speak on situations I want to speak on. Because just like everyone else, I'm trying to get my views too. Okay? So that's why. Let's be real. Uncut. Raw. No more added preservatives. No more bullshitting and and running around and trying to fucking fill, fill holes with different stories. There's no, none of that right here. I'm just going to tell you exactly what it is. And that's that. China Mac. Respect for that. He had to step away, man. And maybe there's a lot more to it. Or maybe it's just a point of disappointment, man. And, and, and realizing, you know, there's nothing more he can do for a man that can't do much for himself. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, the guns is going to keep it real. I'm going to provide the best possible content I can. Some days is good. Some days it ain't. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be there. Every day. It just is what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. I wish Crip Mac nothing but my prayers, blessings, and the best, man. I hope that he gets as minimal time as possible because that man doesn't deserve to be incarcerated. That man deserves to be helped. And as far as China Mac goes, I commend him and respect him for the moves that he is making, man. And all the other fucking rah-rah fucking instigators, well, karma's a motherfucker. Bang, bang.